What up, Stamp Gang? This is Sharday of Sharday No Days Off. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm currently still sitting in my Airbnb in Reykjavik, but I wanted to come to you all um, with a little bit of a top five. And we're talking about my top five things or tips for solo travelers. This is my second time internationally solo traveling and it has been great overall i mean i've had my ups and downs but that's in another video but i did want to share with you the five things that i think are important uh for you to remember and keep in mind as a solo traveler number one i would get a feel for where you're going to be as far as the city um where you're located in the city and also what events are going on and that's as easy as you know googling events going on in whatever city um in the month of july or for the dates you're going to be in whatever city now i was going to London specifically for a specific event. I was going to Afropunk. So I knew that that would take up the large portion of my time, but I also did, you know, look up other things in Copenhagen and in Reykjavik, um, just to kind of get a feel of, of what was going on in the city. And another way of doing that is through meetup.com, which lends to also my second tip. Um, so my second tip is to make friends and meetup.com is great for one giving you um, a space to check out what events are going on in a city but also the chance to make friends. Uh, I joined two meetup groups in London uh, to because I saw that on their event list um, they had an event for Afropunk and I was trying to see if I could find companions to go with me to Afropunk since I was going by myself um, which turned out really really well multiple people reached out to me and we exchanged information I hung out with uh, a beautiful young lady named Danny the day I got into London which was wonderful so I was able to make a whole lot of new friends uh, while I was in London so that means that you know the next time you go to the city if you've made friends you have people to hang out with but this is a great place to get you to start also um, just being open-minded to meeting people in other places I actually met a, another lovely young lady her name was Cleopatra at the Blue Lagoon we were on the in line and we just ended up chatting and um, we both are content creators in certain ways and we ended up hanging out at the Blue Lagoon the whole time and she was fantastic uh, and I found out she was also from London so that added to my London network but also gave me a friend while I was here in Reykjavik uh, so yeah be open to making friends. You can go on a trip solo, but part of the beauty of that is, you know, meeting people and being open to meeting people. I have a, a travel notebook that goes with me that I kind of write stuff down in. And like, I, I don't know if you all can see that because of the lighting, there it is. Um, I wrote down different things that I might want to do in the city. And um, I did this based off of, you know, Googling and doing my research on, on Reykjavik and I did this for each of the cities I was in to kind of give me an idea of you know are there tourist attractions that I would like to see are there other things that you know maybe are not touristy but that appeal to me personally so I make a list of those things however I still try to fly by the seat of my pants and a little bit like letting you know things happen as they may uh for example yesterday i had planned to go see the sun voyager and the harpa um which is the opera house here in Reykjavik today uh this morning to get up out and get, get to do that and i was just walking around going to see something else and i was like well change the plans because there it is right there so you know letting those things happen but also um being a happy wanderer and not being too disappointed if there are things you don't get to do um but just enjoying you know 
having a plan as far as so you're just not totally kind of flying blind but also leaving room for if you meet somebody and you go get coffee instead of going to some monument or going on a tour uh the free walking tour or whatever the case may be number four i would suggest staying near some type of transit um and that's because it'll just make it easier for you to get to different parts of whatever city you're in um outside of walking i do believe walking everywhere or biking or whatever gives you a great chance to really really like immerse yourself and see the city but also it's really helpful to be near transit so that you're not spending a whole lot of time walking to transit you know what i mean and then on transit instead of you know using utilizing that time being in um and around things you may or you may want to see my last tip tip number five is be present um and i'm really really serious about this one because we live in such a technological age that you have to you know show proof of your being places like snapchatting and instagramming and facetiming and still texting and checking emails and things like that it is really important when you travel especially when you travel by yourself because it's such a wonderful and can be an eye-opening experience that you don't want to get stuck behind your screen because then you're proving that you were in a place but you weren't experiencing the place so and i get you know really bogged down with my cell phone as well because you know i'm posting things for social media and stuff like that but i make sure that you know i might be vlogging or you know taking pictures or whatever but i also am cognizant to put all of that away and look around me interact and be aware be cognizant but also uh take in everything that you're seeing not just through your screen but through your eyes and like really enjoy your um experience and your trip so that when you look back at your pictures it's not just oh i took a picture that was cool but i have an actual experience and a memory that is tied to those things i hope that's helpful um and inspires you to take a solo trip and get excited about planning a solo trip and all of those things as always friends don't forget to like comment subscribe Tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.